Anyway, tonight we're going to carry on with some more community chambers and we're going to start things off tonight with one from Karuja and this is called Stepping Stones. Mika's here. What's going on, Mika? Almost missed you there, buddy. Hope you're well. Hope you uh, enjoyed your uh, expensive cup of coffee earlier. <laughs> This dog was a tease. Well, yeah, I, I've seen a lot of people like moaning like it, that it's, it's so short, blah de blah de blah. But um, of course, it was only meant to be like a bit of a tech demo for the uh, the Steam Deck. So I, I found it quite amusing and uh, highly comical. So uh, anyway, this is Stepping Stones uh, thirty nine point two, and there is uh, an earlier version. So make of that what you will. We're just not giving too much away um, on that one. It sounds weird in these headphones. Used to wear in the headphones. Alrighty then, let's see what we got here. We've got way we can get ourselves a cube. Okay, so we can do that into there. Funnel over to there. Port there. Port there. In the meantime, drag the cube over. Okay. Let's do things and stuff. You already sure you needed a tech demo? Well. I think it's Valve's way of kind of being like a bit like, hey, look what we did. We did a thing. And we did stuff. Put it together and you get stuff and things. Anyway. So, there is a way to reverse the funnel. That would be that button right there. Now, how do we do that? Coffee is excellent. You love jasmine flavoring coffee. Nice. I don't really, I don't really drink flavored coffees. Um, too much. It's quite interesting. Let's reverse the funnel. It's also going to do what? I don't know. We're gonna to have to um, pull ourselves back across here, aren't we? One thing. I'm not really sure about this. It's gonna turn off this fizzler. Obviously, we can fling up there, but there's grating, so I'm not sure how we're going to maneuver past there at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've not really looked at the Steam Deck too much, but I assume it's got like like five L five L and R buttons, given the. Um, like the buttons that were available on the uh, aperture job, the uh, desk job. So, yeah, that's, that's a lot of buttons. Okay, so. How we gonna do this? How are we going to do this? It's an interesting question. Yeah. Is anyone um, is anyone planning on getting one or just out of curiosity? Oh, 
Oh, uh, no. I was thinking, did we need to, like, fling out of that portal? But we can't, because the funnel is always connected there. Ah. What can we do here? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about, um... Uh, Steam Deck Atom. Is anyone uh, is anyone planning on getting one? How on earth can we hit this button? I'm perplexed. Uh, okay, let me let's go back up to the top, possibly. So this is what we did before when we got the cube, right? And uh, there's quite clearly nothing there. So, yeah. What about just that? Sat on the bottom of. So it's two. It's two blocks high. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I hit it like this. I can. Hmm. All right. Well, that answers uh, a load of questions. And uh, then we can put this here. Portal there. So that just disables that, right? So I need to come back up to here. Now the troublesome part is... I also need to maintain the funnel, don't I? Cats. Okay, maybe relatively simple to do. I'm going to save here because I don't know if this is the right thing to do at the moment. But I'm going to put a portal here, drop into the funnel, and do that. I heard on the grapevine that a Sears has got a phobia of um, permanent buttons. When they were a child, um, their permanent button touched them inappropriately, and um, they've had bad experiences ever since. 
Okay, so yeah, we can get across here like that, but then how do we clear? How do we clear this area here? That's the big question. Because there's no way we can see anything there. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, if this is what you're meant to do, my only question is, what was the area... What's the point of the... Fizzler area? Oh, yeah, that's the point of the Fizzler area. Ah. Yikes. Uh, okay, so... I take it back. 100%. Yes, then we need the funnel to push us up to here. Okay. I 100% wholeheartedly take it back. Everything I said about it was a lie. So... Next question is... Guess... Let's check this real quick. That fizzle. Uh, sorry, does, of course it fizzles. Um, does it auto respawn? My answer is yes. Okay. So, how do we take this cube from here? Because if we can get this cube here to respawn, then we just push it, funnel onto there, funnel onto there, and then we're done. Right. How does one? How does one? How are you, Deathwish? I think we could throw it, but I'm not convinced that that's a good approach. How do we fizzle this cube? And the answer is not like that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hold on a minute. Actually, that might not be a bad shout. I don't need the button. I didn't need the cube there for a start. Do I? Oh, no, I do, because I need to cross over here. I was thinking I could drop down, take the cube, and then I could go back over here again. Do things and stuff, but it's not going to work, is it? Because we need the cube to jump over those panels there. Atom has the answer. Just like Smarties.
the furthest away I can go from there. Go on, nerdling. What is going on? Bumbly sees it. Everybody's seen it now. Look, everybody's seen it. Uh, this one is called um, Stepping Stones from Karuja. I need Count Strike. Damn. Oh, hold on. Nailed it. That's cool. Using the Fizzler on the exit exit portal. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Cool stuff, Karuja. Uh, Deathwish, if you uh, if you're seeing ads on um, on Twitch, you know uh, you might want to check your uh, Prime. Just uh, just saying. All right. Next up, we have got Turrets of Time from Nerdling. Uh, Two point five out of ten. Welcome to Turrets of Time. Easy puzzle. The challenge you to work around, work around, challenge you to work around, and with your greatest obstacles. That sometimes makes sense. I'm not so sure. Um, no ninja minions, excuse for it. All special minions are required to complete this level. Only brains. Are we got any brains? No. Oh, we're all out then. Uh, this map was made as an entry to Sheepdog's mapping competition in which participants were challenged to create a map or puzzle that utilised turrets in creative ways. You've all seen Sheepdog around the workshop. Yeah, tell me about it. Posting playthroughs of many maps. Anyway, I've got to work and came, I got to work and I came up with this nice little logic puzzle while playing with the turret dropper item from Bmod. I think I squished about it. all of the complexity I could out of the layout and I hope you enjoy the map. Won the competition. Congratulations. Thanks to everybody for entering and Sheepdog for hosting. Interesting. And then we have various playthroughs by Narcodes of Bullfrog and Sheepdog themselves. So now, Maker, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it as always. Have a good one. Okay, so we have that and that. And let's say return path, I guess. Exit is that. With that and that, I'm guessing, for the exit. Luckily, we're not going to die if we come straight through here. This is a full reset. Which sends us down to there. That turret does not like the look of us. And Atom is playing Portal 2. So we're all, all aware. Okay. How do we deal with this? Oh, well, let's start by doing this, I guess. Okay, we have that, we have that. We don't need to hit that anymore. But we can take this through here. And obviously I know it's going to respawn, but we could do this. And this will allow us at least to buy, buy us some time to do things and stuff in here. Okay. Now... Do we have a benefit from bringing it into here, I wonder? 
I was trying to think like the best best way to like deal with the, the which is. Let me start answering this again. I'm just trying to think of like what the best way to deal with this is going to be. And I think it's going to be bring the cube through here. The same setup, if I can. Yeah, okay, so now I've done that. Now what I'm going to do is do that. Grab the cube. Place the cube over here. Same thing happens here. I'll save you, turret. Don't worry. And now I can save... Oh, this might be... Am I not allowed to pick this turret up? Okay, let's try this instead. There we go. Save! Okay, turret is disabled. What I'm, what I'm more interested about is how long is it going to be before we start seeing toilet turrets appear in B-Mod. Okay, so we have that, we have that. So, next up... Let's set things up again over here. be all we need to do. Oh, yeah, we didn't think about that, did we? Big yikes. <laughs> See us. How long have you been around the world of aperture science now? Um, to be honest, I've been like I've been like stupid busy at work. Um, thanks to Microsoft. Thanks Microsoft for that. Updating your stupid licensing. Um, so yeah, we and um, obviously we're going away last week. I kind of missed the stream on Saturday night, but we will be back this week. Um, on Friday night, carrying on with our uh, Hammer D Rust Percent, as I've uh, come to call it. And um, yeah, we'll be um, we'll be we'll be doing things and stuff, stuff and things. Oh, we don't need that on the button. Which we're going to need on the button, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, we are going to need to do that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I tried to do some... I was trying to work on it a little bit when I was away uh, down at the office last week. But... Um, <laughs> I, I tried to do some work on it, but um, what I found out is when you're um, connected to your home PC via remote desktop... Um, Things, things don't really work very well. So, um, yeah. I literally couldn't move in Hammer, so. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is, I don't know if it's clever or dumb, but I'm going to clear my portals here. Then I'm going to move this to here first. Shoot the portal there, then walk over here. Hmm. So 
So I need to get up to here. And then I could clearly drop that down using that. But doing that, I'm then not going to be able to do anything there, am I? So that's not going to be the answer, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. What if instead? Hey. I'm not sure where I need to position this, but we could potentially use the turret, right? Are you still there? Hibernating. So Hello. Put that there. Can we see that one from there? We can. Excellent. Okay, so what we're going to need to do then is position this somewhere like here. Um, actually, let's position him last because, no, in my luck, he's going to end up shooting me. Target lost. Okay, so this one goes over here like this. Then, but first we need to clear portals. Okay, clear portals. Place this one here, portal there. Then this is going to sit here. Put me down. Ready to meet its fate. Target lost. Then we can shoot that one there. That one there. That one there. Excellent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got a, a dumbly bumbly, dumbly fumbly. <laughs> yeah, very clever puzzle indeed. I remember like playing one like a long time ago, which um, had like a similar sort of thing, and you had to use turrets to block um, lasers. But very cool use of the turrets. And we're straight into another one of yours, Nerdlin. This one is called Serial. I'm not the type. Give me a minute. And not the type I like for my breakfast. Anyway, another e easy, medium, three out of ten. This is a monoport puzzle. You will use the light bridges and lasers to slowly gather everything you need in the exit area. No ninja minutes, cube throws, or other fancy gamer tactics are required to complete the level. Only brains. Uh, I haven't created a map in a long time. Suddenly, in the past couple of days, I was hit with a wave of inspiration. I put this little puzzle together over the course of about a day. It's not exactly genius, but the solution is a sequence I can say I'm proud of. This map was built as an, an entry in another of Sheepdog's map competitions, this time revolving around monoport puzzles. I believe this is my first proper monoportal map. Some music from Mike. Um, it was revamped with the help of Steam, Steam, and Libby, and it's using the mod. You have a request. What is your request? Please do. Do share. Oh, there's a light bridge left. I think we needed that light bridge. We'll use it from here instead. Okay. So there's two cubes. Here is the first. Yoink. I can see if uh, we could use that at the minute, but I don't believe we are able to. Just at the moment. Is there a... Oh, okay, that's what's causing the cube to spawn, sorry. I was like completely baffled for a moment as to what was um, what was happening there. That's a full reset. I'd maybe advise use, against using that. Bring our cube out and head back through though.
Okay, so what we're gonna do here is position this to aim here, walk back through the fizzler, and then we can lift up the cube, the light bridge. Huh. That's delayed slightly. Okay, that was, um, pull me out a little bit, to be honest. So then we can walk over to here. Now, the question is here, do we need the cube? Obviously, I'm going to say not at the minute, but I'm also going to say we're going to position it over here for now. Reasons for that may come. Oh, actually, I don't think that's going to help. I, for some reason, I thought the monopole was there instead. Alright, so now I would need... Alright, let me, let me go back a minute. I might have to do another setup. Hmm, okay, we're going to have to go back anyway. But yeah, I think the idea there is to... prop the cube up, in a way. So... Okay, let's... Grab the cube. Okay, right, we can do a full reset. It's fine. So, go back. And lift it up. Just trying to think. Have I got away? Co-op monopole map. <laughs> oh, jeez. That'd be pretty interesting, I suppose. See, my thought process here was, can I take this back? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I I joke, I laughed about it because I didn't think it would like be possible. But yeah, it, clearly it, it would be very possible. That takes us back to the exit, uh, the entrance area, doesn't it? See, one thing is, I need to get over here. But I need to bring that cube.
But I'm also thinking like the only way to do that would be. for uh, hydrate scenes. We've got a ghost cube going on here. <sighs> Should keep me awake for about another hour. I could just do that. Okay. So it said something in the thing about gathering everything in the exit area, didn't it? Yeah. Use lasers and light bridge to slowly gather everything you need in the exit area. No ninja moves, cube throws, etc. etc. Let's leave that there for a minute. I just want to go and explore here a minute. Yeah, I probably should have like got rid of that. So if I drop down here. cube up there, put that on there. So that can get me back up to here. I'm just trying to think, is there a benefit to me doing that? Okay, what we should probably do though, let's get a new instance of this cube. We overlooked that, didn't we? I think all I need to do is bring this cube over. I'm also wondering if, like, bringing that cube over into there was a mistake, but it's easily fixed. We can do this. Take the cube over here. That cube over here to set this up again. Hmm. Yeah, that might be... Uh problem. There's some real kind words there, Nerdlin, from, uh, no, I just, just give up, Deathwish, just give up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, 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 scramble! After that little fumble is over, let's um let's get back to it. Alright, so let's I'm gonna respawn this um, standard cube again. Hmm. Wait a second though, that was the issue though, isn't it? Yeah. Knock sorts through paper stream. Not to be cute, confused with a knock art and craft stream, of course. They're the best. Ah. 
How do we stop this from like despawning, but also keep it open? The only way I can see that is to take this cube over to that side, but I don't know how we would do that. All right, well, I'm going to put my guess in. It's time to put my guess in for Deathwish. Uh, and I genuinely don't know like when the last time this this guest came from. So we're gonna go we're gonna go quite we're, we're gonna add quite a few on from the last time. I'm gonna go for seventy one thousand seventy one thousand um seven hundred and fifty four. Right there, that's that's my guest death wish. Oh, wait a second. Wait just a minute. Now I'm uh I'm no expert Coco, but I think you might be shooting a little bit low there. Okay, so that does that. And now we can go back through. This is always gonna be open. I guess I know what that's for. Stop me from like cheekily shooting down there, isn't it? You guys saw that cube, right? We could do that, but. The only benefit for that is what? Oh man, it's miles too low. What about like, yeah, that's loads. I couldn't remember like the last time when you announced, like the last time you did that and I well, I can only assume it was like quite early on in the last stream, but genuinely, I didn't know. All right, well, to do that, I've got to uh, lose the weighted cube again, so we might as well just reload the save, just to save ourselves some time. question is how do we how do we get hold of the standard cube but also get rid of the portal there
I mean, I think clearly I've got to get the redirection cube that side of the glass so that I don't have to rely on portals for or light bridges for the laser. I can permanently open that. Just once that's open, we can get the cube, leave the standard cube over that side. Although once we've done that, that's pretty much game over, isn't it? We, I think we're done because we'd laser that to open that. Come back through there. Walk across here. Um, I know. Yeah, no, that would be it because this would be open. We could then jump on the button. That would save the cube. We'd walk back through. Um, turn the cube to face that. Take the cube down there and the button to do that. So I'm guessing before... We need to, the, the, the big like question here then is we're going to have to use that bottom area somehow, aren't we? And I'm guessing it's going to be with the standard cube. But, because there's always a but. That was there and that was there. I could drop through there. The cube would survive. Okay, so let's try then. This here, this here. This will allow me to then walk over to here. Lose the portal. Now, you see, doing this here, I would need to... Do I need the light bridge? I think I do need the light bridge to... Do I need the light bridge? Yeah, okay. The question there was meant to be, do I need the light bridge to hit that there? And the question, the answer is yes, I do. Anything hiding back here? No? Just checking. Hmm. Oh, this is uh this is a doozy. I mean, if I had that, I could open it from here. But also, I think... Hmm. 
But I mean, of course, the issue with that is I could get I can get this in here, not a problem. No problemo. Just what I can't do then is get a portal out of here. So kind of a bit counterproductive. Okay, so new new thought here. I don't know how I would do this though. Is there a way I can get Okay, let's let's try this. Do that. Bring this cube out here and up to the top here. So what I'm thinking is, I don't think I was like a million miles off with the the whole cube thing. But maybe we need to just keep this button down. Which is what I wasn't doing before. Be very careful here not to make sure I don't lose anything on there. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So now I can take this cube. Okay. This. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, so here's an issue. I don't. That, that'll work, and that'll allow me to get a cube down below. But. I'm going to save there just for now. But with that and there, I can drop down to here. So I can't get into there, but I can get through to here. Walk through to here. Actually, back it up a step. There's no way I can like push that onto there as the, as the light bridge is stopping it. I 
I mean, not that I'm doing something weird like that, but that's not right. And let's see if that really helps. I don't know how to cause the, res the respawn now. How did I do that before? Hold on. Um, that might not be too far off. Fish sticks. Oh, it. Okay, I see. I see what to do now. I see what it is I need to do. I just need to stay away from this button. Also, what's going on, T. Chapman? You are doing well. All right, so if I'm right about this, we do this. I, sh I should have saved. Should have saved my game. Uh, yes, this is uh, actually the third chamber of the night, um, T. Chapman. And the second one tonight from um, Nerdlin. This one is called Serial. We've had stepping stones from uh, Karuja. And then before that, we've had. Um, before this, we had another one from Nerdlin. It's called Things and Stuff. There we go. I didn't need to rush it all because of the light bridge. I totally forgot about the light bridge. All right. Anyway. Oh, hold on. I should have positioned that there before I went up here. That was a mistake. Okay, that, that's what I should have done. OK, 
Okay. to do next. Okay, we could do this. So we'll do that. That swaps that. This is how we get our cube up to here. And that's how we open this up like that. So now we just need to cause a respawn of that, don't we? Okay, which should be pretty easy. No! No! Easy fix. Don't panic. Don't panic. Easy fix, look. Easy fix, boys and girls. Hey, Chapman, thank you very much for the host. Let's put this one down first this time. Then we should be able just to do that and that. That one goes down there. That points there. And that's ah, we are done. Um, I'm guessing though from your comments, Nerdling, that's not the intended or not how you intend it to be sold. I mean, I don't think I used anything that particularly uh, broke it. And um, we are not playing this one right now. I'm going to skip to the next. All right, next up is Springtime from Totes My Goats. Totes Maggots. Totes Maggots. Maybe. It's springtime. Looks like we got a bit of a... Some something special going on with this one. So it's a collaboration from Demon and um, Oats. Eye candy focused map. The best for best and most atmospheric experience. Do play in a dark room with headphones. And feel free to no clip and explore after the puzzle. Of course, I will do. Uh, listen up, investors. I've got news. And if you're, you're a coal magnate, oil tycoon, or grease peddler, which, let's be honest, it's most of you, you're not going to like it. Last few months, I've been personally pestered day and night by a brand new band, by a band, when well, I can't speak, band of clingy tree hoes called themselves a manure. Nope, they're not self pitying sand sacks. It's a forced acronym. The Michigan Administration for National Usage of Renewable Energy. Yeah, I know. I'd bet the entire contents of your offshore rigs, offshore bank account, they spent way too long coming up with that. Anyway, according to those so-called environmentally experts, our facility's been coughing up enough pollutants to choke the entire planet's human population into extinction by the year 2000. 
Sounds like the far off future, right? Well, I've asked our greatest visionaries about that future and they're promising flying cars, pocket computers and busty lady robots who break into your house and climb into your bed. Wow. Actually, that last one might be a movie point. <laughs> a movie. Point is, that's a future I don't want to miss out on. Do you? Oh, my God. I'm guessing Demon wrote this. <laughs> Now, if you told me that 20 years ago, I would have told you manure is full of, well, let's just say it's full of themselves. But lately I've been thinking, and you know what? Maybe, just maybe, they have a point. No more humans, no more test subjects, no more returns on your investments. Oh, also, no more you. So I've had Aperture's most hardball eggheads working on a solution, and I'm proud of unveil that solution now. Introducing the world's first lunar-powered test chamber. Absolutely beautiful, only works at night. Flawless, also ceilingless, complete with picturesque waterfalls. Someone suggests using those for power, but no, that's ludicrous, far too safe. No, I insisted on the moon. You want to keep up manure? Of, you want to keep manure off our asses? That's how. Hell, we've got exo mining expeditions up there twice a month now. We particularly, we practically own the thing. It's my space rock, and I'll use it however I damn please. Well, damn well please. Sorry, Gabe Johnson. We're done here. Oh, and Caroline, make sure we're mantises can't access our lunar chamber. Keep them. Keep them to the simulated daylight center at all costs. We don't want another nineteen fifty two on our hands now, do we? So the original puzzle is um, a message was above by a demon. We've got a load of credits here, which I won't go into because we've already spent probably like the best part of three minutes reading that. And we've got some additional answers from uh, CSGO Half-Life, uh, CSP Alien Swan and Port Stories Mel. And thanks to Miss Lambert, Miss Glaze, Ozzy Flau for playtesting and feedback. A stretch. I think I need to stretch my vocal cords before I did that. What's going on, Ryan? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. How are we all doing? It's not too late to get in on uh, Death Wishes game giveaway, by the way. Exclamation mark game giveaway in the uh, chat. Let's you into that. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer is. Uh, I was on that. Uh, but uh, about another minute left on that. It's the last minute, so. Get into that. Get, get a little, blah, 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 blah. Let me learn to speak. Get in. Get involved. Get involved. Uh, this is not to skip. It's springtime. Sorry, I was massively distracted. Anyway, let's um, have a look. Nice atmosphere. Uh, you can enter. I'll uh, I'll extend it for a little bit. A uh, little bit longer. Very atmospheric. We'll definitely have a look around once we're done here. That waterfall is beautiful. Waterfall. I just want to do that. I knew it wouldn't work, but I just like saw it and I was like, yep, I want to do this. Um, okay. So, is this a map we've already played before? Was it one of Demon's maps? I think it may be. Alright, let's head on over the water. Of the toxic goo. And, uh,. See what we got over here. So we have a faith plate. We can possibly use to fling ourselves to victory. Change that back to that. I guess we're going to go up here first. Alright, so we then can do that. Now, I'm guessing 
Then I'm gonna wanna do this. And then use our faith plate to get back in the funnel. Change our portal to there. Change our portal to there. And lo and behold, we have cube. Which is auto respawning. Phew. I was a little bit worried about that. Okay. I don't know if we need to do this right here, but we'll push the cube over into this section for now. We'll permanently open this for now as well. Okay, that's behind glass. So we can go back over to here. And then we're going to want to do something like that. So I'm already regretting my choice to leave the cube over there. If, of course, indeed, there was a choice at all. But, yeah, effectively, we would want to bling. Cube over here. Let's stand on here. Potentially, we'd need to pull on the surface, put the cube in the funnel, funnel it down, switch to that, fling the cube over to there. We can go through there, fling ourselves over to there. Simples, right? Shimpers. So we can leave that there. Oh, actually, we can't leave that there yet, can we? Um. Uh, actually, we probably can. Oh no! Wait, we don't even. We don't need the funnel. We don't need the funnel. Yeah, no, exactly. That was that's exactly what I said. That there, we fling over here. We then funnel the cube down to the faith plate. And then we follow the cube by doing exactly the same thing over here. Fantastic. I see more. Yeah, it certainly makes you uh, appreciate, you know, what you can do in Hammer. And it also kind of puts shame to what you can do in Hammer. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so pretty sure that's going to be the exit. Should we, uh... Should we fly around a little and just admire the scenery here? Because, uh... It's, it's pretty darn good. And, and what, what else you've got to kind of appreciate here is that 
And a lot of hammer maps, you know, a lot of this back sort of side stuff wouldn't be detailed. Whereas, uh, this is all models and textures and stuff, so, yeah, a lot of detail went into this. I mean, even like, I don't see a skybox, but, you know, like all the way back over here, we've got like trees and models and you know, we've got the whole displacement terrain here. It's um, pretty something, I'll be honest. And uh, I'm going to like sneak a screenshot of that and maybe use that as a thumbnail. Oh yeah, just like like I say, the the amount of detail is just incredible. There's nothing behind the door. Where did we even like enter this area? I can't remember. I can't go past here because of the skybox. What's going on, money? Hey, Dan. Welcome, welcome. I think that's where we entered, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, the cubes are just appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> that's a lot of cubes, though. Them cubes are moving um, quite quickly and quite fast. But, um... I was kind of, kind of hoping to find, like, something secret. Secret box room. Okay, uh... Can I go back? Well, that's why we make saves. It's like a level end trigger, like, all the way over there. What even is that? Is that just like a world portal? Maybe looking down... Oh, is this... I don't know. Is that like a whirlpool looking down? Ah. Huh. Holy smokes. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this. This is crazy. Crazy insane. I'm gonna stop admiring. Where even is the uh, is the map? It's over here. There it is. Uh, yeah, we were down here, wasn't we? But yeah, that's like crazy. Like the amount of detail. Like I say, it kind of makes you appreciate what you can do and what you can't do in Hammer. <laughs> I'm going to say what you can't do. It's more a case of, um... I think it's a bit nice to be able to blow something up or something there.
Oh. Are we, are we, are we calling the alien? Oh my goodness. Are we calling the alien race or something? Okay. Well, that ended a bit more abruptly than I thought it was going to. But uh, yeah, great map. Great map, great visuals. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm going to stop like, idolizing that, I guess. All right. Next up, we got to Barrier Problems by Fire Day. There he is. Not now, Cave. All right. So, um, so look at this. Try to remove the barriers with what you have. Watch out for deadly red glowing stuff. They hurt a lot. Okay. Cave Johnson. Sounds interesting. Let's have a little look, see. See what we got. Okay. Okay. I was thinking like I was just thinking that like how do I how do I do this? But um Yeah, no. Ignore me a minute. Then I need to do what? It's quite interesting, actually. I need to... I need to do what? Also, there's that other panel up there. I, was that activated by... I'm not sure how that's. I guess it's activated by that, but not entirely sure. disabling the funnel just that okay so funnel is not necessarily important right uh, actually yeah it's very important I take it back Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on a moment. All right, so let's, res let's respawn everything. Step one, block that. Step two, go up here. Step three, drop down. Step four, place this here. Like that. 
Step five. There's a dropper in my way. Cube's gone. Cube is where I need it to go. Um, step six. We're going to do that. It's going to catch us. Do that. Blah, 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 blah. Now we need to. Hmm. Well, I thought we had it. Okay. So that's not the answer. And I guess you come out here. Okay. That's not the answer. Yeah, step 12. Yikes. That's how that work. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Step 12, the cake was lying. You are rubbish. I wonder if it's not just anti-trapping.
This is step I don't know anymore. I've lost count. This would be very extremely cheeky if it was the case. The issue, though, is that we can't... Yeah, the issue there is we don't get rid of the... Um... Don't get rid of... Hold on. No! <laughs> well... Yo! Jack, man. Jack M, what's going on? How you doing? Got any, uh, if you've got any chambers that you would like us to take a look at, use exclamation mark map request. And uh, we'll happily take a look at them. Do you know what? Somebody, something tells me that was strategically placed there. I had the right idea, but I forgot one thing. What was the thing that I didn't do? Oh, I think I know what I need to do. I think I know what I need to do. It will be... Hold on. Nailed it. I think the uh, the weighted cube is a bit of a um, it's a bit of a red herring because you don't actually. I, I honestly thought I would need to use the red uh, the weighted cube a little bit more than I actually did, but. Um, I wouldn't really consider that, like, too much of an execution-based puzzle, if I'm honest, uh, T. Chapman. 
There was a little bit of light execution there, but um, nothing like stu uh, nothing like crazy, crazy silly. Have yet to take a pee break? Would you like me to pause the stream for you, Coco, while you take a pee break? You know, I'm, I'm all about the community. I can do that for you. Uh, hard puzzle with white gel. There is a bit of setup enjoy involved. Enjoy. I added a tutorial at the beginning to help teach a mechanic and reduce some struggling. Prime. So apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. So this is what I think it could be. So we talk about like execution based. This is um, this is a little yikes. This seems to be a bit of like a how many different ways can you break the map kind of thing. So I'm guessing that's what you're meant to do. How do you mean I'm overcomplicating it, I am? Oh, hold on. Okay. Let's try it this way instead, maybe. So maybe what we was meant to do instead was that. Then we was meant to do this. Okay. I take back everything I said. I take back everything I said. Yeah, um, I'm with Fumbly on that one. I didn't see that the wall was angled. So, uh, good spot on that iron. Very good spot indeed. Alrighty then. Well, I'm not being funny, but I, I, I know Deathwish will agree with me. Anytime there is uh, conversion gel involved, you just have to go ham, right? I'm just going to um I'm just going to leave you with this vision for a moment. Walk away and then uh, we'll discuss it on my return. So, uh, yeah, just, just have a long hard look. Think about what just happened and then we'll discuss it in a minute. So did we all do our homework? So for uh, for maximum credits, what's wrong with this picture? And uh, <laughs> congratulations, you've you've all passed. You have. Um, you all get your Portal Two qualifications. You should be. Very proud of yourselves.
<laughs> I don't even know what's going on here. Where Where is this conversion drill going and why is it coming out at a weird angle like that? I'm, I'm pretty confused. Not gonna lie. Don't take a lot. But little old knock is confused. All right. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Let's get a cube, shall we? Cube acquired. All right. What's next? I suppose it's doing that because it's the angle panel, isn't it? So, I mean, I'm guessing I want to, like, go into funnel, maybe? And I'm guessing I want to be pushing it over here, maybe? Let's try about there, maybe. I mean, geez, that was... That, that, that was some... Um, that was some well spent gel right there. I'm not gonna lie. Also, um Can we please shoot the right portal? Thank you. Much appreciated. sure how that gel bomb just like randomly fired itself off there but <laughs> so it wasn't just me that saw something wrong with that picture that's that's good to know that's good to know Is it just me or is like the conversion dial doing really weird stuff in this map? Alright, I'm gonna save here because this is not filling with hope. Also, guess who's trapped again? Yay! How does that one work like that? Because I'm sure when I was like over here, right, it was like going in that direction. Oh no, there we go. That's what I wanted. I wasn't trapped. Yay. Okay. I mean, at this point, it's just turned into a... It's just turning into a free-for-all, let's, let's be honest. I mean, yeah, well, then we can do that. Let me go to that. Let me go to that. We take out one nugget of gel. Let's 
I'm still not even sure what that panel was for. If I'm completely honest. Oh yeah, about that. We're dead. Alright, we'll send the cube on its own. If we really have to. And then... Let's save. This time I'm not trapped. That's that's uh, that's an improvement, right? Okay. I got an idea. And this idea is something like this. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. Step five. Step six. EXE has encountered a problem and needs to close. Fantastic. Oh, sir, can I have some more gel? I mean, I guess the optimal position is going to be there, isn't it? We kind of just want it to kind of like just end up on the wall. trying to think about something here. Um, right, so if I'm thinking about this right, the tutorial supposedly showed us about using an angled panel or an angled surface, right? Where is there an angled surface to use? Oh, 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 oh. By George, I think we're on to something. 
think we may have done did it. Yeah, but okay. I see another issue here. This issue will become apparent real soon. In the meantime, you can go over there. And then... Who sees the problem here? I sure do. Go on, Dido Killer, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Actually. I don't see a problem at all. Problems. I ain't here to hear your problems. All I want to hear is solutions. Give me solutions to those problems. I've got to go back, though. Which is different here. Let's save though, just in case. Oh yeah. Um, stuff, things, things and stuff. Uh. All right, we're doing it. I suppose we're doing it. That should be enough. I hope. Okay, so what I'm taking from this is spam as much conversion gel as you can. And uh, not sure what the whole tutorial room was about, because if you were trying to teach us about using an angled, uh, an angled surface somewhere, then I don't really think we needed that. So I don't know. I'm a bit used. Um, definitely not as good as the, the previous Friday map that we played, that's for sure. I preferred that one uh, over this one. Definitely. Alright, time for one more, I think. And this is one from Nintendo Urk. Unfinished Old Aperture Repaint 1.5. This is going to be a hammer map from Urk. Yeah, but the description said Deathwish that they they made the tutorial room to take away some um, like confusion because people are confused and like to take away some of the difficulty. So uh, I'm not sure. Also, Error, what's going on, Error? Hope you're well. 
Welcome on. Uh, so yeah, this is um, Unfinished Old Aperture Repaint 1.5, sequel to my old repaint map P2 published, still broken, so I use Pobble Jewel Maker again to upload. Full Hammer or Porsche Bear, Cooper's Gel, Cave Johnson, Secret Transmission. Ooh, secrets. So. Oh, no, so that kind of looks a bit wooden. Anyway, I digress. Let's um, carry on. Let's look for them secrets. Go look for them secrets. All right, let's get started. This first test is, is this uh, is this something to do with you, T Chapman? T five hundred. You get the job. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. The pump? Every ball in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Ah. You know what? Weirdly, this. I kind of seem to remember this map. I don't remember it being one of Irk's maps, but I vaguely remember this map. Okay. Alright. I still have it there. I do. Excellent. this secret transmission, Mr. Irk. Not here. That's the answer. Alright. Let's head on into the eight, 1983. Yeah, I know, man. I'll be honest, though, his B mod skills are pretty good. So, you, know, you can't take that away from him. Yeah, I do vaguely remember this map. If this is, I don't know if it's. I know he said it was a sequel, but I vaguely remember like a map like this from Urk before. Um. Okay, makes sense. Carrying on what we uh, were doing previously, of course. Makes complete enough sense. There's my secret transmission over here. Oh! Why would I want that there? That's interesting. Well, interesting. Do you remember the original Death Wish? Or like the, the like the first version of the map at least. I keep saying original, I don't know if it is an original or not. Why can I not go on that vent? That should be totally doable. Ah, yes, okay. I think I found the secret transmission.
Nintendo it likes beans confirmed. Next question. Where do we take the radio? Can we take the radio anywhere? Time to get majorly distracted by something that's potentially not even here. Hope for like some sort of like Portal One style secret radio transmission. Saved it. <laughs> oh, jeez. New mission. Save the radio at all costs. Get up there. <laughs> no! I am not going to destroy the radio. How dare you! <laughs> the radio is my friend. Alright, so now let's, let's move the radio to safety a minute. All right, so we're going to want some... We're going to want some gel, right? In particular, we're going to want some blue gel, because we're going to bounce off here, bounce somewhere else, I would say. If I had to guess course we should never have to guess I don't think that's gonna give me enough is it it is all right but now we've got to go back for our friend No radio left behind. Have I missed a cube somewhere? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Panic not, people. Cube Dream is still alive. Panic not. I say the Cube Dream, I mean the Radio Dream. Okay. Okay, then we just need some white gel, uh, not white gel, we need some blue gel. Uh, okay.
I need some blue gel. That might be a bit more problematic. Stay there, my friend. Yeah, how are we going to do that, I wonder? Let's, let's think about this. Because we need to get gel there, don't we? But then we also need to go up to the top. Unless we can juggle... Uh, oh, hold on. I'm so stupid. So stupid. I'm guessing by the angle of that, I can see that from up the top. Then, how does that help me? sure this is what Urk had in mind. Stepping on the button don't do jack. Other than paint me a pretty picture. Here's an idea. I don't know if it's the right idea. Here's an idea. Uh, that's not a good idea. Because we're losing momentum. Uh huh. Hmm. 
What am I missing? Definitely answer calls. Hold on. Okay. What if we need to use blue gel? I'll get in here though, will I? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Now, wait just a second. <laughs> Good news is the lab boys say that. All right, the radio definitely changed. Okay, uh, I don't know what's going on this time. The, the radio definitely turned off the time before. Somebody like, confirm my... was that moment, Nog realized the sound of the radio would haunt the map forever. <laughs> I could have sworn that thing turned itself off. I guess not. All right. Awesome source. Map. <laughs> Nock had, Nock had completed his quest in bringing the radio all the way to the end of the level, 
However, the sound of the Aperture Science radio had driven him crazy, and only Nock could hear the song in his head. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Through uh, quite a few maps today, didn't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps. Unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. And uh, yeah, the, the queue the queue is diminishing more and more as we speak. I know there's some stuff to add uh, on from the queue, but um, yeah, one thing I did add, which wasn't, was this one. Oh boy, am I excited to replay this one because uh, that's uh, an absolutely fantastic uh, map. Also, we've played some of these stuff. So yeah, we've got even less on the queue. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. That's, wow, crazy. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support, as always. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye-bye.